good morning all myself ramya working as assistant professor in the department of ece hindustan college of engineering and technology coimbatore i am here to discuss about image representation and description and other subject of digital image processing this image representation and description helps you to recognize the object effectively by the computer so the um, image which has to be uh, recognized by the computer has to be acquired first and it has to be enhanced restored and it will be segmented the segmentation output will be in the form of raw data which is pixel that is not understandable by the computer so it has to be converted into the form which is understandable by the computer that work is done by representation and description so now we have to see about representation and description so first representation the representation can be performed based on the external characteristic of the image or otherwise internal characteristic of the image external characteristic means boundary representation internal characteristic means uh, region representation so description is nothing but based on the chosen representation if you chose the boundary alone you can find the length of the boundary or you can find the number of concavities in it likewise you can describe the Uh, boundary or otherwise describe the region which helps to identify the object based on its label so first representation under the representation you have chain code polygonal approximation signature first we will see chain code this chain code represent the boundary by means of connected sequence of straight line segments this connected sequence of straight line segments can be numbered based on four connectivity or eight connectivity and the numbers are provided based on the direction of each segment so for example if it is four directional chain code if the direction of the line segment is in this direction it is zero top one and the side two and the side three whereas these diagonal directions are left off if it is a directional code diagonal directions are also considered and based on that di diagonal direction the numbering is provided we will take one example and this is the image where the resampling is done and this is the final result of resampling for this i have to find the code if i take four directional line segment i have to consider horizontal line segment this direction this direction is given by zero and again i don't have in four direction i don't have diagonal direction so i have to go in this direction and then only come down so again zero the downward direction is 3 and likewise again downward 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 3 3 and again i have to either come down and then reach down so i am coming down and reaching this point so this direction is 2 and after reaching this what i have to do again i have to go in this direction and come down and this direction go up and up this direction here 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 likewise the direction of line segments are mentioned and for each direction based upon this notation you have to give the numbering 0 0 3 3 3 3 3 2 and again 3 2 1 1 2 1 1 likewise so the chain code is represented by means of the chain um, straight line segments and depending upon the direction of the straight line segment numbering is provided if you use four eight directional chain code this uh, diagonal representation is permitted that direct diagonal representation code is provided based upon it the chain code is represented but you have the problem with this chain code that is uh, it has long chain and it is easily disturbed by noise for that we have to find a solution which is normalization normalization is performed by means of finding the difference first difference for example this is the chain code we have to normalize it with the first difference so the first difference is nothing but counting the number of counter clockwise directions for example 1 to 0 1 to 0 is what we have to do is go in counter clockwise direction 1 2 3 so 3 has been mentioned here and next is 0 to 1 0 to 1 is in counter clockwise 
and again 1 to 0. We know that it is 3 and again 0 to 3. 0 to 3 is 3. Next 3 to 3 is 0. Likewise, the first difference is obtained by means of counting the number of clockwise directions between the adjacent code. And after that, consider this code as a straight line segment and find the difference between the first and last and mention it here. First point and the starting point difference is found that is between 1 and 0. 1, 0. Between first and last, we are finding the difference 0. The first one is 3 and the last one is 0. Between those, you are finding the circular uh, clockwise uh, shifts and we are finding it as between 0 and 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. So, you have 1, 2, 3. So, 3 is mentioned in the first case. This is normalization. And the next representation then chain code is polygonal approximation. Polygonal approximation is that represent the boundary by means of polygon. It can be by minimum perimeter polygon or merging technique. Minimum perimeter polygon is that this is the boundary you are representing with the minimum perimeter and shrinking the boundary. You have to find the polygon such that the boundary, entire boundary is incorporated within your polygon. Likewise, you are incorporating and you have to make sure that only minimum number of polygons are incorporated. After incorporating it, just um, relax the rubber band. Consider this as a uh, stretched rubber band. Relax it, you will get the representation now. Right? So, the polygon has to be incorporated between the inner and outer and finally, the approximation is performed. And one more form is that merging and splitting. What we are doing is first connecting the major axis. After connecting the major axis, we are finding the minor axis. Perpendicular line segments has been drawn for my minor axis and that is considered as the corner and we are joining it. Likewise, again after that ACDB is obtained, then I am getting one more segment here. Now, join that one here, here, here. Likewise, this process can be continued until you are getting the exact representation for polygon representation to the boundary. And the last one in boundary representation is signature. Signature helps to represent the boundary in a single form. One dimensional function. If it is a circle, we know that the radius is constant throughout the circle. So, if you enlarge it, you will get a straight line. Whereas, in this category, you will be getting different curvatures. This has one value and this has one value. So, this is a signature. Signature is nothing but representing the shape in a one dimensional function. So, if this is the apple, if you extend it, what will happen? So, start from here, you will have, start from here, I will have this one. And again, one curve, one curve, again this one, then this one. So, this starts from here. Okay, so just extending the two-dimensional into one-dimensional gives you the signature. And this, this is what representation is. Then we are going for description. So, the description can be a simple description which is used to represent, describe the boundary which can be length. So, number of pixels are counted that gives the length or else you can find the diameter. The diameter is nothing but distance between the two boundary points or the major axis or you can find the rate of change of slope which gives the curvature. And other than the descriptor, you have shape number. Shape number is actually found by means of the chain code. So, it can be order 4. See here, it is uh, depending upon the straight line segment 0 and downward 3, 2, 1. This is the chain code. If you take the difference between 0 to 3, 3 to 2, 2 to 1, you will get this value. And shape number is nothing but shifting this such that the minimum value comes to the first position. Here all are three, so shifting it won't be uh, deferred. Whereas here, your minimum value comes here. So, shift this, uh, circular shift this such that zero comes to the first position. Zero, three, three, zero, three, three. 
3 goes to the last category. Likewise, uh, for various orders, uh, the difference is calculated and shape number is obtained. Shape number is just by shifting the difference value such that the lower value comes to the first position. Various examples have been mentioned here for different orders. So, as a summary, we have seen about representation and as well as description. Under representation, we have seen polygonal approximations, signatures, chain codes. And under description, you have seen some simple descriptors and shape numbers. So, as a whole now, we have seen how the image can be represented and described such that its interpretation and recognition can be improved. These are the references which are referred. Thank you. Thank you all.